Well, news that Ontario is considering a vaccine passport as a requirement for many non-essential services has advocates watching closely. Most such passports require technology on smartphones to work. And as CTV's John Woodward reports, some are worried they'll get left behind. For Clive Caldwell at the private Cambridge Fitness Centre in downtown Toronto, implementing a vaccine check for his members was a clear decision. Everyone has to be vaccinated to return. And that has been the most important thing I think we've done in the last, last while. Club members sign up online, just as many people do in government systems in Quebec and Manitoba. A QR code on the phone could be enough to get you into a non-essential service. But for those without phones or with older phones, it's not so simple. This is a relatively new iPhone. I was able to download Quebec's vaccine passport app onto it, no problem. And this is a 15-year-old flip phone. It can still text and make phone calls, but downloading a vaccine passport app, that's not going to happen. A technological barrier that could prevent groups, including the elderly or the homeless, from accessing some services. If all retail food services locations, right, or, or major ones, were to say, you can't come into our restaurant unless you're vaccinated, well, all of a sudden there's a whole lot of people that may not be able to go in and, and access those services or even that respite or that warmth in the case of a homeless person. Angie Peters of the Young Street Mission says the government has to consider people who don't have access to smartphones or printers if it designs a vaccine passport. In Manitoba, an immunization card alternative has proved so popular the government ran out of plastic to print it on. In Quebec and B.C.'s planned card, printing the code onto paper works too. Disability advocates also concerned that it may create new barriers for them. We don't want this to become some long-term thing that could be used against people in the long term uh, when the health situation has changed. It should therefore be very time limited and very circumstance specific. Exactly what the passport program may look like in Ontario isn't known yet. Advocates hoping it won't be another reason some people will be left on the street. John Woodward, CTV News.